Hello and welcome to Cirque Insider Creators Edition. I'm your host, LJ Jellison. Today we're going to be talking with Jonas Wolverton, who is an artist in Zoomanity. His new project is a band called Candy War Pop that he's involved in. We're going to be speaking with him about that. And then later on, we're going to be joining him in his first live performance at the Bunk House here in Las Vegas. Let's get to it. So we're here today with Jonas, who's a performer of Cirque du Soleil. He has a Roosier performer in Zoomanity and uh, has recently started a, uh, a new band project. Yeah, well, the name of the band is Candy War Pop. I'm an acrobat by, by night and during the days, I, and later at night, I moonlight as a bass player. Um, I also write lyrics and, and write some of the songs, uh, come up with a lot of the, the bass grooves, and um, it's been a pretty exciting ride so far. What style of music would you say that you guys are? But to me, Candy War Pop is, I would have to say, like, psychedelic punk. Like it's really, we're not any one thing. We're definitely we like to play loud and we like to um, to use a lot of fuzz and and um, but we're also we you know we play fast some, on some songs and other songs is more atmospheric and psychedelic. So punk rock has definitely influenced us in the band and we you know definitely can't deny that those influences come out. But I think that um, you know it's 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 not your typical punk rock. It's definitely much more in in the in the vein of like post-punk, like Jesus and Mary Chain or Jane's Addiction, you know, they're not specifically punk bands, but they're definitely influenced by it. So you guys just finished recording your first EP, is that correct? Yeah, we just recorded our first EP, and um, the title is called Pre-Op Lollipop, and it's uh, it's five songs, it's, you know, straight to the point. We basically, um, you know, we wanted to get our sound out there and wanted to be able to start playing uh, live shows. So, um, like right after we, right after we got the, the, the mix and, and, and we got it mastered, we, we like sent it right away to like a beauty bar and also to uh, uh, Bunk House and, and also the Neon Reverb uh, local music festival, which is really a bunch of great guys. From what I understand, you already booked a couple gigs. Friday, June 3rd is our first gig. It'll be at the Bunk House and um, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's a pretty cool live music venue for Las Vegas. Then the next gig we have is on June 8th at Beauty Bar, and that's um, another awesome live venue in, in Las Vegas. I would say that, you know, for me, I've, I've never sort of put myself in a box as a, as a creator, as a performer. I just, you know, for me, some things, uh, I, I mean, I majored in film production, you know, like, like I've done, now I've, I've had like, this is my, going on my third career as a musician, so. <laughs> you know, it's taste it's, of everything. Yeah, I mean, I just I, some things are best expressed through circus and and movement, and other things are expressed better through music, and other things I, I enjoy, you know, making a movie about it. You know, it's really to me, um, it's kind of you know how what side of bed I woke up that day. Very cool. Now we're gonna be checking you out at the bunkhouse, and then we'll be talking to you afterwards to see how it went. Absolutely.
All right, so we're back here with Jonas after a great show last night. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Feeling really uh, high, natural high from performing. Um, that I get kind of with circus. It was kind of like the first time I'd. Last night was basically like the first time I'd ever performed in a circus before. It was really just uh, uh, mind altering, and it felt great to perform with the band. And we were tight, and we were together, and uh, all this hard work really paid off. So I feel like we broke the ice in a really big way. Yeah, you think you're gonna be a uh, rock junkie from this point on? Oh man, I'm so hooked right now. I'm just so hooked on performing live with the band, and um, yeah, just any gig that comes our way, ready to ready to attack it. Well, congratulations, bro, and good luck with everything in the future. Thank you very much. A big thank you to Jonas for joining us on Cirque Insider Creators Edition. You can check out more on Jonas and Candy Warpop at candywarpop.com. You can also buy his EP on iTunes. Be sure to tune in next time as we interview Brandon Pareda as he creates a new project for Broadway Bears in New York City 2011. Until then, you can check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash Insider, on YouTube, youtube.com slash Insider, and twitter.com slash Insider. Until then... Keep creating.